find an angle on Nakabe or John Hoon or even Dayor. Really hard to play out these fights. That said, getting past Caitlyn Traps, getting past a volley from Ash as any of these champions is a bit of a nightmare. Something yeah. knocks the Jax into tower, just wants to hold the wave as close to his tower as possible. As uh, so Astralis start up the dragon, not a lot of vision to work with. BDS can see the exactly what's happening. Careful here. Shio's on the way and he's level six. So this could be a disaster. Flash out to safety, John Hood, good move, man. Again, Storm Jarvanal can do this. is wow, yeah, it's just... horrible for Astralis. I think BDS can just take this in their face. The problem they have is 1 1 3 is level Traps 5. getting laid down. Unless Kobe can do magic here. Maybe 1 1 3 can steal it and flash out. That would be a great out here for Astralis. Oh. oh, that was awkward. Flash in, flag, and drag back out to safety. But that was really just a stare down. Some small abilities being traded left and right. But oh, Kobe oh. now going to be in no man's land. He's locked up. Instant flash out. Clean flash over the wall. Credit to Kobe for escaping on that one. But and Nuke and Shio are basically unultable for a 1 1 3. So that's why I think this top side 3v3 is not really in their favor, but Shio doesn't have the Cyclone yet. He used it around the Dragon. See if they want the fight anyway. I right, getting pulled back. It's just a smite oh fight, my. and Shio wins those. This is, oh, this is so rough for Astralis right now. 1-1-3 now running. Maybe can just look to ult a few members for extra damage, but first blood now going down. Astralis' top side absolutely falling apart. Power, so at least the gold will stay somewhat even as Kobe tries his best alongside Yonghoon to find a way to carry this game for his team. 10 minute bot tower, not too bad. Lebron Kobe locked forwards. down, trying to go for the chain CC and they're gonna make it work, but there's no more tower to back them up. Duke now on the way in, but Crowny's gonna be in trouble. Four shot now going through, that's big, big damage. Four bullets, more than enough to get the job done. Jonghu wants to get a little bit more, but the Ash is gonna finish him. Should fall here, that's a stun. Duke now gonna follow up. Should just hold on to the Ash arrow, grab the kill. Can make another play to follow, and BDS Tying up the gold score, that bot lane devastation not going to be able to continue any further. Yeah. Oh, the arrows from arrow from downtown. Now one spin coming in from the Wukong. Good damage. Second spin now going to come out. Dayor not able to finish the job. Shio healing up and BDS. Four to one now in the kill score. That was Yonghoon picks up the kills, making a one for one, but no mid push to the side of Astralis means that no one's coming to help. Nuke gets the kill, and I'm sure we'll see this beautiful arrow here in just a second. As Adam just killed Finn. Is this going to be the 1v1 it is? So what does Finn do here? Walks up for a plate, it looks like. Just with disrespect, Adam just all into him after going a bit too deep. The ult comes through, but oh. he ults him into tower and then takes a shot. Yeah, not great. Adam just gets the kill to look for any kind of fight because their mid game is weaker than BDS's. You know, the Cassante Jarvan, Syndra being... Yeah, Dayora's coming down. Arrow top lands onto Adam from Yonghoon. All in from Finn. Here comes Yonghoon on the side back as well. Side. Adam now getting pulled back. Stun gonna fall away. Finn on the yes, chase. Flash. All out gonna flash in here. He has no ward though, I think, so he doesn't have anything to jump to. Adam is gonna get caught out here. Are they gonna give the kill over to Kabe? They will. I like that. They're gonna need to clean it up quick if they want to get anything done here against BDS. They definitely are. Their grouping mid is five here. Just arming for this mid-tier one. We'll see if they can pick it up. Trap line is down. Arrow is gonna land. If they can get a trap onto him, maybe the chain CC is enough, but I don't think so. Here comes the Jin ult. Shio now moving in. That's the Wukong all the big multiple members. They are already taken out. Easy start of the fight for BDS. Adam essentially untouched. Jonghoon has to flash out the safety. Nuke now coming in as well. So hard for Kabe to even step up an auto attack here. 1-1-3 one, one, going over the wall, committing onto Adam, but there's just no play to be made. Buys a bit of space for his support, so a single easy kill. Execute kills. And also it's important to note that he is behind relative to Kabe, but relative oh. to Dayor, he's really not. And now oh. Shio gonna grab Dayor. 1-1-3. One, one, he's 1v2-ing the mid-jungle of Astralis, and he's winning. He took those emotes personally. Out here for a bit of vengeance. Curtain call coming in. One shot gonna get dodge. Three, trying to make it away. Jungle trying to block. Ankle was a little off there. A bit more damage. He could have been taken down. But BDS moving into break open bot lane. Yeah, it's going to fall this tower when the Herald crashes onto it. Demolish proc as well. Crowny again. There's a. Did LeBrock just kills yeah. Yonghoon with Crowny's W to land onto Crowny? But they're collapsing in there. Their responses have been quick. And that's exactly what they need to do. They look for 1 1 3 here. Has the ult? No E on the ult. Coming out. Nuke just moving in pretty furiously here. Curtain call already coming in. The follow oh, up immediately from Adam. Love oh. the play. The three member combo there. The Silas, the Jax, and the Jin just doing work. It's going to be a Baron. It's just gone. There's no jungler. I mean, you can. As, as Astralis here, you can say we have to contest because what else can you do? You know, there's no other objective to play for. We may as well try something. They don't have a smite. Maybe Kobe can get a couple of autos in to chunk him out, but he's going down so quick. Nuke can zone him away. He can even try to flank them here, look for a fight, but yeah, there's no real response here available for Astralis. The top side has just collapsed. 
Whereas BDS could probably lose two or three back to back before they have to worry about anything. Well, respect to Australia. They know if they lose this dragon, the game's over. And the game is kind of over anyway, but at least try something. Here comes Adam on the backside. They managed to knock him back, but they'll be right back into the stun anyway. Adam getting pulled away. Adam getting cut down. Do they have enough damage to finish oh, off the Jax? Jax kill? is getting taken out. Combat the backside, still remaining untouched. That Jarvanol could be big. Shield locked on a trap. That's massive. They moved into the choke against Kabi. It might just be enough for them to find the fight. Astralis, how are you getting this done? Nuke now healing up. Fit now leaping forward, trying to pull him back. John him doing just a bit of damage. What do you expect from a support ash? No, the Kingmaker not up in time. And that means Kabi go. running now. Fit trying to do as much as he can. Crowny now moving back in. It is just support ash. BDS are simply too strong. A valiant effort from Astralis. But in the end, BDS will take the fight. They're just way too far behind. The team fight was pretty well played by Astralis. I think Adam going a little bit. Arrow will land onto Adam. See how much follow up there will be. He has flash up now. Should just be easy for him TP to make it behind, out of that coming one. in from EQ. Finn. Is he gonna flash alt him? He doesn't even have alt yet. Finn wants to fully commit. Let's jump. The slow is gonna be big here. Another counter strike now coming up. Heimerdinger waiting over the walk. Stun. Oh, this is gonna be big. They're gonna try and turn oh. burn. Big stun. Chio now moving to the backside, waiting as long as he possibly can. Three seconds on his ultimate, but he's already at half health. Ocean Soul though is so broken, and it's just healing him up. So incredibly much. Jungle Day or on the backside. Kabi's not even in the area. Kabi's just farming, but there is no fight here, Astralis. They try to take it anyway. They will now finally disengage. BDS, five members strong, barreling down the mid lane, looking to end this game. No front line left for Astralis other than 113. If he goes in, BDS have enough damage to just shred straight through him. Cobb is here. He can put some traps down. Baron buff. As it'll be an easy Baron to BDS. And here comes the siege through top. Wave push out. Trap line is in mid as well, so top will be a bit difficult to hold. Double cannon minion, Jinnul to push them back. Crown Ult, big damage on the Deor, Deor just gonna die. Yep. Provide a Deor, man, just get the ult off. Shield going golden. 1-3 not taking too much oh, damage, but Tanky Boy, that's gonna be a shutdown. A lot of damage from that cave in. Managed to get the okay, kill. No. Did get anything else done. They should just be able to break from the base. Finn waiting off to the side, one for one. Yep, 4v4. No Wukong means Kobe has more space to work with, but he doesn't have Gale Force or Flash really immobile. If uh, Nuke can get on top of him with that Jarvan, he might just die. So, mid in, uh, top in him falls. They're gonna wait for they shield. Just want to siege mid. I think Jax can tank these traps with his E. Kabe has heal now. I imagine he does have Gale Force. Good arrow to lock him down. The mark oh, this coming could be good for Astralis. They're shutting through Adam. 113 still standing for now. It's a bit of a messy fight overall. Duke is just gonna immediately dash out of that one. Finn buying as much base as he can. BDS backing off and Astralis now holding the line. Wow. So this trap line actually doing work. Adam can't really escape. They've got a wave through bot that they can play in. Dior has TP to join the team. Now the face checking begins. This is where it becomes a little bit oh, difficult. They're going to get backed against the wall here. This really is the 300. This is their last stand. Here we go. Protect the president. Oh, they are not protecting the president. The president is in the back line. He's just getting one shot. No! Astralis. That was their hope. Dior can't even be the difference maker. 113 still standing, but no. That is it. When Kabi dies, Astralis dies with him. BDS. Might take another 30 seconds, but this is their game. It has been domination from start to finish. A creative yep. level one from Shio in every single lane, but bot winning out for Crowny. Using that utility helped bring the game home. Here comes a TP from Nuke. He's just going to base, TP into the base of Astralis. And then this one here, Finn will fall. Flashes away, but I think there's... Oh, a little dashy. Okay. This is one of those situations where you're screaming at your team not to end the game so you can get the kill first. Will they get the they kill before they end the game? End the game. No, are they going to wait? Are they going to wait? They, they are, are waiting. waiting. They are oh, waiting. no. Okay, this is just there brutal, isn't it? Okay, well, All you've right. got about five uh, seconds. Round of applause yeah, Finn. for Finn's KDA. Finn's KDA. Taking one for the team here. Is he dead? There it is. And now they'll end the game. BDS, big win. Astralis, heartbreaker to go down to 0-5. But BDS clearly deserving the win from start to finish. 3-2 and two now their scoreline. Simple and easy. Just went through topside. Bot lane was struggling in the 2v2. A lot of vision plays down there from BDS. 113 was matching a lot of it as well, trying to get some pressure down there. Uh, but yeah, just straight through top. Adam had a fantastic game. Yeah. I think Nuke was roaming around the map, and once he got two or three kills rolling, he was unstoppable.